Afternoon and welcome to We Repair. Um, so today I'm working on a rather beat up Asus laptop. Um, it needs a fair amount of work, so the least. I have already looked at it, so I know sort of what's entailed in it. Um, so there'll be quite a bit coming with this one over the next few weeks. Obviously, you can see there's a few bits missing and things. Um, there's some issues with the charge port. The list goes on. Uh, so this one is an Asus X553M. Um, it's, it's a lovely laptop, it's, it will do really nicely for someone. Uh, I'm just going to fix it up and set it on. Um, so in this instance, we're just going to fit a new hard drive in this. Uh, it shouldn't take very long, sort of 10-15 minutes at the very most. Uh, we'll strip it down, we'll open it up and we'll get that done. Um, there is a number of other things with it as I say, but we'll just start there. So CD drive is currently already unscrewed somewhere in it. There are a few missing screws so it doesn't surprise me. Um, so we'll start by getting the rest of the screws out of the back of this thing and then we can pop it open. Um, so we've got eight or ten screws. Uh, they are different lengths, so the ones at the front of the laptop are shorter than the ones at the back, so just bear that in mind when you go to put them back. So we are missing our mid screws, one here and one on the other edge. Let's do the other corner at the back here. So this came without a hard drive installed, so I know I've already ordered the bits for it, so I clearly was already aware that it didn't have one. So to open this up, what we've got to do is separate this palm rest and keyboard um, on the surround here with the top of the laptop. And we just grab a pry tool and we can do that. So as usual, uh, we're just going to pry in between the plastics just on the front here. Uh, it shouldn't take much effort, as you see, it's already nice and released. Uh, as always, being careful of the ports, so we've got ports all down this side. Uh, so, I know in this model that everything is attached to the base, but there's a couple of ribbons attaching the keyboard to the bottom and I've already seen our first issue just in opening it up. So let's just try and show you this. There should be two ribbons attached here. There should be one just here attaching the uh, base to the trackpad, which looks like it's damaged. Um, and then we've got a second one just here. So we'll just pop this up, pop our ribbon out like so, and then that will lift out. Now I've got another job clearly coming up, so the clip is actually missing on the connector here, so we'll do that one in a, in a future video and replace the keyboard and palm rest, but for the moment we'll just pop that to one side. Um, so this is where the hard drive should live. I had to order this little brackety bit from eBay to fix that in there. And I think, I thought that might hold our CD drive in, but it doesn't, there's actually a, a screw hole here. So um, maybe not, let's just have a look at which way up our hard drive goes. So. Um, this smaller L-shaped piece goes around this way, so it slides in like that. So I just wanted to check that before I fastened it into the, uh, the little bracket because I wasn't sure which way around it went. So again, this end goes here, so we're going to mount it just like that with our PCB facing downwards. So let's just quickly do that. I have got the screws as well, I ordered those off of eBay ready. So we'll pop a couple in and then we'll just do another check. So say, I just wasn't 100% sure which way around it was going to be, so I didn't want to mount this metal bracket on here until I was 100% sure. Let's just pop this back in one more time and make sure everything lines up. Right, so that's clearly wrong. Which is weird, because I swear that went in before. It does, 100% go that way up, but it's sitting way too high unless the bracket sits downwards, which I wouldn't have thought it would. Weird. I would have thought it would sit this way. You almost want to have it like that, but you can't. It's not going to fix from the underside. Let's just have another look at that in a minute. 
Let's see how this is going to line up. Just undo these screws. This hard drive is definitely going to go in like that. But yeah, that is actually going to sit possibly too high for the keyboard. No, maybe not, because that space is there. And this is just designed to stop it moving, maybe. one sits at the right height though so let's just fix it back in one more time a minute that's definitely right maybe it was just the fact that I didn't have the front screws in fully or perhaps if I just attach the back ones and have it at an angle maybe then maybe that will do it Oops. I'd rather not bodge it though if I can avoid it. So that does actually work fine. Let's just put the front ones in. Doesn't explain why it didn't line up the first time unless I just didn't have it down enough. No, God knows, maybe I just didn't have it down or nothing. There we are, that's all fitted in. Um, so I have got a new set of screws just here for the inside of this. So what I'm probably just going to do is use two of them because that will keep it solid enough. Or maybe I've got third one I think. Yeah I've got a third one. So I use three and then I'm going to use the fourth shorter one just to fix our CD drive in place. So that's perfect. It's not going anywhere anyway so I'm not going to worry too much. So I've got our CD drive just here so we'll slide this back in like this. And then we've got our screw hole just there. CD drive won't go anywhere either. In theory we should have really disconnected our battery before we started working but there we go. It is what it is. So we'll just get this reassembled. I am going to disassemble this again at a later time to sort that out. As you can possibly even see in your picture the screen has got quite a few cracks on it as well so I've got a new screen coming. Um, so we'll get that done at a later point as well. So we'll just quickly clip all these clips back in. I'm not going to bother reconnecting the trackpad because Quite frankly, it's broken anyway. So let's push this all down. All the way around. Like that. And then what we'll do, turn it around the right way. And we'll just quickly button this up. And then for the minute, I'm going to stop there because I haven't got a new screen and things to do a proper test out of it, make sure everything works. We know our trackpad's knackered anyway, so um, we'll get a new trackpad in there first before we do anything more. Got our top four, let's fit those out. one. There we go. For the minute well, that is all she wrote. Um, so keep watching the channel and you'll see me fix this the rest of the way. I'm going to do the screen. Um, the previous owner says it's it's not charging unless the charge is pushed in 
particularly firmly, so I suspect we're going to have to desolder the charge port and replace that. And uh, we're just going to probably upgrade the RAM on it as well. And then reinstall Windows, so that's all to come. Um, so keep watching if you want to see those bits and bobs. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been useful to you. Um, if you wouldn't mind dropping us a like, leaving us any comments, we always do our best to try and respond to everything. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.